Bjorn Giorno, North Carolina. Matt Miller with another deal report. This week, the Italian drug company Chiese Pharmaceutici said it would take private Cornerstone Therapeutics based in Cary, North Carolina. Chiese will pay $9.50 a share for the 42% of Cornerstone Chiese doesn't own. Now that's actually less than Friday's close of $9.74, which is giving some investors heartburn but it's 78% more than Cornerstone was trading in February when Chiesi first made its offer. Now we'll leave that dispute to the courts. Uh, various plaintiff's attorneys are already gearing up for battle. What interests us here is Chiesi's Italian heritage, its attempt to go global, and how this mirrors other companies like it. Earlier this month, Chessie acquired the Danish biopharma group Zymanex for an undisclosed amount from venture capital group Sunstone Capital. Zymanex concentrates on ultra-rare genetics diseases. Chessie is moving to boost its specialty pharma, although its core is respiratory diseases. It employs almost 4,000 and has subsidiaries through uh, previous acquisitions in Britain and Austria. It bought 58% of Cornerstone in 2009, one year after the company went public. Cornerstone also focuses on respiratory ailments and, of course, gives Chiesi a channel into the American market. Now, Chiesi has been around for more than three quarters of a century. It's based in Parma, which, yes, makes more than ham, and it's an example of Italy's many family-owned companies in all sorts of manufacturing specialties. They may not be household names, but they produce great products and compete, can compete internationally. More feel the need to do so as Italy struggles with its protracted financial woes and the various political shenanigans. It can't seem to shake either. Witness Silvio Berlusconi, a kind of recurring national nightmare. So, as Italy's economy stagnates, Italian companies look elsewhere for growth. America is high on that list. From New York, this is Matt Miller.